Hello everyone. Today I would like to share how to create a multi-select drop-down menu on a user form. Some may suggest replacing the combo box with a list box since the combo box doesn't have multi-select features. However, a list box requires more space than a combo box. If you prefer a combo box over a list box, follow this hack. First, insert a text box and place it on top of the combo box. Adjust its size if necessary. Then, double-click on the drop-down button of the combo box to write the code. Make sure to use the change event. We need some conditions to trigger this event. Use the if statement, that is when the text box is empty, let the text box equal the combo box, which is the item selected by the user. Since I allow users to select a maximum of three items, I use else if for my second condition. I use the worksheet function count a to count the number of items selected by the user. I split the text with a comma as the delimiter. If this results in three, I remind the user that they can only select three items using a message box, and nothing will be changed in the text box. However, if the user selects less than three items, I use else to update the text box by joining the existing item in the text box with the combo box using an ampersand. I need a comma in between them as the delimiter. Start with if, end with if. Click run to check the result. Click the drop-down button and select an item. The item is sent to the text box. Let's select the second item and then the third item. Notice that these items are separated by commas. If I continue to select the fourth item, I receive a message box and no updates in the text box. Note that although the drop-down menu shows the items I have selected, if I select the same item for the second time, I shall receive no updates as the change event is not triggered. Therefore, the coding part is considered done. However, if we wish to exclude the items that are selected, we need to add some code. Let's go back to the Visual Basic Editor. After updating the text box, I would like to clear the entire list in the combo box. Then, let's reassign the list. Since I'm referring to this table, I must set a variable, say LO, to reference the list object on the selected sheet with the correct table name. Then, iterate using a for loop where I shall run from the first item to the last. We can use the list rows.count property to count the number of rows that we have. Next, use an if statement together with the inString function to check if there are any words in this text box that match the specific item of the list object. It is a must to use the range property to avoid a type mismatch issue. Make sure nothing is found, that is, the formula should result in zero. If this is the case, then this item can be added to the list of the combo box. End this if statement with end if. Finished one item, proceed to the next. The same code should be applied to the event where the user selects less than three items. Click run to check the result. Simply select one item. If I click the drop down button again, the selected item will no longer be on the list. But the problem we are facing here is that Excel adds a comma even if there is only one item. To overcome this problem, let's go back to the Visual Basic Editor. Add an if statement to make sure that when the combo box is empty, then Excel should do nothing, that is, exit sub. Also, end this if statement with an end if, and the coding part is now done. Click run to do the final check. Give it a test, and we should get the desired result. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. I wish you a wonderful day, and this is Ah Singh.